last, you know, last lap, and you're going up against the collegiate record holder in the 1K. How confident were you? Um, I didn't really know coming around the last few curves because you, you start to feel the race a little bit, but I just knew I wanted it, so I just had to give it all, give it my all in order to get the win. Were you surprised with, you know, who took out the race and how kind of the, the strategy played out? No, I, it played out kind of how I expected it. Uh, I actually got out a little faster than I uh, anticipated, but it all ended up working out, and I was ready for whatever race was to come. After finishing second in the 800 the last two seasons, you know what kind of drove you to want to move up to the mile? Um, well, I was third my first year, second last year, so I was just trending upwards. So I was hoping to continue that trend. It's crazy that it's not in the 800, but I, I think I'm in the right of it. Might as well do it the mile then, right? Yeah. <laughs> Are you thinking 1500 outdoor then? Yeah, we'll see. Whose idea was it to move up, yours or the coaching staff? Um, I think it was mutual. I was kind of ready. I ran the DMR a little bit uh, the mile late last year, and then running cross, that got me feeling strong and ready to move up. What if anything has changed in your uh, training in the past season to uh, turn over really well? Um, as I mentioned earlier, when Meg interviewed me a few weeks ago, uh, it's, everything's kind of come together. Nothing's really changed with training. It's kind of like your mind and your body and spirit are all kind of coming together at the same time, and that's when the magic happens. And I, I think just becoming a little more confident in my strength and trusting in the training that really changed everything. So were you happy? It was kind of slow at 222 at halfway. Yeah, I mean, I was paying attention to the time. It was more like keeping my eye on who's ever in front of me. But like I said, I was ready for whatever race, whether it was going to be a sand kick or go from the gun. I was just prepared for whatever. When do you think it switched for you? Because a lot of times you'll sit in the back. This time you didn't do that as much. How, what mindset was it that came from? Um, well, I realized that wasn't really going to work anymore. Everyone in the NCAA is getting so good and so strong all around. And I knew sitting in the back wasn't going to do me any good anymore. I started to realize that last year. And then, like I said, getting more confident in my strength. Um, I was ready to just go for it. I tried it my first race. It ended up going well, and then I ran my first mile of Arkansas, and I was like, I'll just go for it and see what happens. And it worked out. How much mileage did you run? Talk about your strength. Like, how much do you run? Um, I actually run only about like 40, 45 miles a week, but I supplement some of my running with cross training, and I'll do like. 150 minutes of cross training or so. It kind of depends on what time of a year we are. But yeah, I have to make it up with cross training. Congratulations. Thank you.